Now, if you're just joining us, you might want to go back and watch the previous video. This is a continuation of a three-part video tutorial. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to start talking about borders and cell formats. So we're going to cover both those topics in this tutorial, and the next tutorial we'll talk about styles and how to create and manage our own styles. Now borders, by default, all these are going to have default hairline borders. But we can customize the borders of the, each of the cells individually as well. For example, we could add a thick border here along the bottom. We highlight the what we want to make a border for. So we want to make a border underneath these cells. So we highlight these cells, choose the bottom underneath, and we've highlighted this bar here. And now we choose what we want the border to be. For example, we could choose thick. Make it the stroke a little bit thicker, and then change the color. And now we've added a stroke there. Now you see we can do this even further. I'm going to highlight a bunch of uh, cells here. Actually, let's do all these inner cells. I'm going to undo the original one. We'll keep it a little bit thicker, that's good. And highlight all these cells here. And we're going to go, we're going to work on all the insides. So I'm going to click here and work on the inside borders of these selected cells. And you can see now that we're working on the insides, not that just that box, but every single border within that range. Make dashed lines. Alright, I'm going to bump it up substantially here. And now I'm going to click outside so you can see it. And now we've added dotted lines all within here. Just like we did with the insides, we can also control just the borders. Click here on the border of what we've selected. Now it's only going to control this border here. And we'll make, say, dotted lines for those. These will be bright green. So now we've added bright green dotted lines around the outside. That's how easy it is to add and adjust cell borders. You can see that just this top one, you can see some more examples here. Maybe I'll highlight two rows. I want to just show this, uh, this row in the middle. So I'm going to click this right here. Now I've highlighted this, this border here in the middle, and I adjust it. And there you go. So you can see, once again, a lot of power behind this. All right, now for this next part, we're going to go back up to um, the table we already was we were already working with so that we can discuss self-formatting. So here we're going to create a little table, and we're going to start showing you how self-formatting works. So what I'm going to do, we're going to come over here to the self-formatting inspector. This is the cells inspector. Click on that one. It's very small. And you can see here that we've got um, only a few options. Now the first option I want to point out is wrap text in cell. Now this is important when we start adding large descriptions, you have to decide whether you want to wrap text or not. As I start typing here, you're going to see what happens. Since wrap text in cell is turned on, as I started typing to a point where the text was too big to fit in the cell, it automatically brought me to a new line, and you'll see this again as I start, as I start typing, and makes the whole row bigger to fit the accommodated text. So here I'm going to I'm now going to show you if we uncheck this box what happens. This text now, it doesn't disappear, but it starts to carry over into these other cells. But it's not actually in these cells, it's just over the top of them. As I click on this and I start typing in another cell, once again I'm going to uncheck wrap. You can see that it kind of gets messed up here as it starts to try to carry over between all these. So up here we come to our cell formats, you can see all of our options for cell formats. You can see we have automatic, this is where it's automatically going to determine it, and most of the time this means that it's not going to change what you type, it's not going to change the format of it. We have other options here, such as if we're working with numbers. We can round it up, we can add different decimals. Um, I'll show you that as we start working with numbers here, I'll make one right here. We're going to start, we're going to show you some different options we have in numbers. So as you can see here, I'm going to type in 123. Now this number looks good, it's over here on the right, and this is formatted like a default number format. 
I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to start adding decimals. Um, let's say we want everything in this column to be three decimals large. Whether Even though I haven't added any decimals, it automatically makes sure that there's three decimals in there. Now I'm going to autofill the next cells here. So now they all have the same format. Now I'm going to do the same thing. So now this time I'm going to add two decimals. I'll show you what it looks like. Obviously it adds it so that they all look like they're in the same format. And once again, now you think you understand exactly how this is working.